If you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder by myself Bates in 87. Today we are doing Barcelona, the team which has got two Team of the Year players added into it this year and uh, fingers crossed so hopefully some more Team of the Seasons and that illustrious right midfield, right wing, sorry, right wing, right midfield position which will be filled. So uh, when we get building into the team guys I will explain exactly what's going to be going on but if you are new to the channel drop a subscription, drop a like rating as well and um, yeah try and smash over 5,000 and likes if you can. If you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description. And with that said, guys, let's get on and build it. So what I'm going to state to you straight away, guys, is we haven't built this team so far in FIFA. And the reason that was is because they have not got a right mid, right wing position player yet. And they still haven't. We were waiting for an informed version this week. Still hasn't happened. And uh, now we're going to be trying to put a left wing in form there, which you will notice. Because I do want to build this team. He's got two team of the years, one very expensive fucking team of the, um, in form sorry, and also one more uh, very expensive striker on the game. So that said guys, let's get and build it. In the goalkeeper position we do start off with Bravo there is two keepers for Barcelona one of them is 82, one of them is 83 and obviously Bravo does stick out there Moving on to the centre back position we do have PK on the, the left hand side, not everyone's go to um, defender being 84 rated quite slow as well but he's not that bad. And his partner in crime is not about the Mascherano as well, who a lot of people were expecting to see in the midfield position this year, as uh, that's where he was playing a lot for Argentina in the World Cup. But it never did happen. We then move over to the right back position where we're putting Danny Alves, obviously been nerfed quite a lot since last year, down to an 83 rated right back. Still, um, I think he still is the highest rated right back in La Liga as well. There is informed Carvajal, but everyone does prefer to go Danny Alves mainly because of that Brazil. Link. We then move over to the left hand side where we go with Jordi Alba in the left back position. Obviously, a very expensive left back in La Liga as well. There is the likes of Marcello who goes around 15,000, and then Alba is the second highest rated, second most expensive as well. Now we're putting two of the old-timers into the team. The first one being Iniesta. The team of the year, Iniesta, who a lot of people did not expect to get that team of the year card. But he actually did. Well, obviously, he's going to get a team of the year card because he uh, got into the starting 11 in the Ballon d'Or. But it was down to the players and Iniesta got into it again. Now, I think it definitely is going to be his last team of the year card on any FIFA in the future. Um, one, mainly because he's getting a bit old and, um, yeah, he's not performing as good as he did. He used to. And the second one we are going to put in is none other than Xavi for Barcelona. 86 rated. There is second in form Rakitic, which is at 85 rated. There's uh, Busquets as well. He is rated 85. But obviously Xavi does jump into there in the centre mid position. Now we move to the camp position and we are going to knock down someone from centre forward. It is going to be the team of the year, Lionel Messi. We are going to knock down from centre forward. And we do stick to that one position change unless it is needed, likes of Rooney, uh, which we did change a while ago. But there is also another rule added in today and that is obviously putting in Pedro in the left wing position which we'll see in a moment but team of the year Messi is the second most expensive player in the game which is uh, well it, apart from legends obviously but he is very expensive there is a striker Ronaldo and also the uh, left wing team of the year Ronaldo which is obviously more expensive but this Messi card is ridiculous He's, he did have a, a special card as well which is pretty good but this one does top the lot and you will see a few decent highlights from linking up with the striker now we move to the left wing position where we do put in form Neymar in today. He cost me just under 3 million coins, which is pretty ridiculous considering everyone was panic selling him for 400,000 coins near the start of FIFA and now he's ballooned up to that price. It's 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 ridiculous. Um, but he is a five star skiller, very, very fast and a very rare player just because of when he was released into Ultimate Team. Now we move to the left wing position. Obviously, I have said it before, guys. We are putting in form Pedro into there, the 84 rated left wing. Obviously, it's a right wing, but I did want to build this team. I didn't want to build it without the winger missing, which would have been Neymar. I obviously wanted Neymar in the team, and this is the only way we could do it. Everyone was expecting, including myself, 
that inform uh, inform Messi sorry this week would happen and he would be a right wing position. But to hold me to that word, I think Messi may get a right wing uh, inform sometime in this FIFA. And the final player put going into the team now, guys, is Luis Suarez. Obviously, in the start of FIFA, he wasn't available and he is available now because of his ban uh, from football. But he is one of the best players in the game by country mile. Four star skills, an amazing free kick. I rate him as the best free kick taker on the game by a mile, and you will see that in the highlights as well. Um, him and Messi both together in this team were crazy and very, very dangerous up front. If you've not used Luis Suarez, guys, I recommend if you can afford him to pick him up. Um, and if you can't pick any of these players up, guys, check out Foot Coin King because their link is down below and you can afford any of these players then. So, guys, that was the best possible Barcelona team available to you on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not. And let's get into the highlights we did get with this team. So one thing I need to state, guys, and you will be able to tell by the state of the clips, that I was suffering from a lot and a lot of lag in these games. It was absolutely unbearable and very frustrating, but we did manage to get some clips, um, as currently I am in Doha, which is in Qatar, and uh, the internet isn't that good. Well, the internet's good, but just the lag isn't, and obviously we're going to have to put up with it. And we're playing against Saudi Arabians, and if you have played against KSA uh, with anyone with KSA in their gamer tag or PSN, you guys will know how try hard they are at the game i'm try hard but they are twice as much and did give me some very very tough games in these highlights so suarez he finishes everything you put in front of him he has a cracking free kick he has passing um which is awesome to link up with lionel messi who is just behind him and he's a very dangerous striker in and around the box as you can see the state of these um laggy clips lionel messi did finally get some now pedro was on seven chemistry he didn't really do much because i do prefer to use that right hand side and inform neymar uh, did the job he was very good very dangerous on the counter attack as well as having messi and suarez behind him now with the midfield we have the likes of Xavi and Iniesta if you use them two guys as a passing uh, playmaker style players they will do very good and uh, get you loads of goals and you will see a few clips where they do manage to put Suarez uh, through in goal by just one pass the defense didn't really get tested so I can't really uh, talk much about it but I have used Alba and Alves in the uh, in past teams and they were pretty good very, well very solid left backs and right backs with PK and Mascherano didn't really have any faults pace didn't really really matter with them either and I don't know if that was down to the lag or just the opponents I was playing now Bravo a lot of people do reckon he's the best La Liga goalkeeper and uh, I probably will join him on that because I've used Casillas and Bravo this weekend and Bravo was pulling off a lot more better saves than I thought he would so guys if you have enjoyed it drop a like rate and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let me know in the comments section below what you want to see next weekend what best possible squad builders do you want to see and uh, I will obviously be having a look through and seeing what you guys do want so until next time guys see you all later have a very, very nice rest of your day.